So now to the bull quotes. Um, I'm going to copy the text from the Microsoft Word file for these two lines in here and then go back to InDesign. And then just at the side of the, uh, the spread in here, paste those, just move them to the side so I can see them nice and clearly. And again, um, it, it is. If you're finding that InDesign is applying the same style that isn't basic to your text when you copy and paste, just click away. And with nothing active inside of InDesign, if one of your styles is active inside of here, highlighted, then that's what any pasted or any imported text will look like, quite likely, if it's highlighted. So I'm just going to click back on basic paragraph in there. Um, I will need to click on this one and choose basic paragraph. And then um, highlight over all the text. Again, change the font family in here. Go to a recently used font right at the top. Clarendon, regular oblique, 18 points in size. And then a 20 point leading. Now I have obviously got two pull quotes uh, combined together in the same text frame here at the moment. Um, with that done, I'll then change the alignment to uh, center aligned. And I'll also change the color of the text to TAB blue, like so. And from here then, I'll go down to the bottom, alt and left click to create a new style and call this pull quote, apply starter selection, and then click OK. And so from here then, I can pull these two apart. So if I uh, cut the second one, then hit the backspace key, hit the escape key. Um, I'm going to try and get this so that I've got... Um, that one there, paste another one here to the side. And um, I'm also going to try and get rid of the hyphenation as well. So I might just go back to pull quote, right click on there, edit pull quote, and then go down the list to hyphenation and just turn it off completely. And then click OK. So you'll notice now that I don't have any words split across the lines in there. So uh, I might get pregnant today is the first pull quote and I'll move that to the side and then again similar sort of size in here I might need to just pull this in just a touch drag this one underneath and then I make this a similar size as well like so and pretty much good with those I'm going to drag across both of them with a selection tool and then go up to the control panel up at the top and just click on this icon here which is wrap around bounding box click on that to apply text wrap. Now, if I take my text and drag this across here, even though this is text, you can apply text, text, you can apply text wrap to a text frame. And so from here, then it's a case of just nudging this down. I'm using the uh, shift key and the cursor key just to nudge this down. It's about where I want it, but I do want a little bit, if I just pull this little handle up in here, make it a bit shorter. I do want to extend the text wrap above the top in there. So if I go to window, go down to text wrap, in the text wrap panel pops up on screen. I will unlink all of the offsets and then just extend the top offset in there just to push that out of the way. And then from here, I can just position my text right in the middle like so. And I get my pull quote in the middle there. Click on this one and I'll probably do the same to the to this one as well, but I'll drag it across here. It goes into the middle of that gutter in that text frame there between those two uh, columns of text. Um, actually, I'm fibbing. It goes here. And again, I'll come back to text wrap to the wrap around uh, bounding box and increase the offset for this one as well, just to push that one out of way. So I get a nice kind of clear gap around there. If I press the W key, you notice that we get, you know, a reasonable size gap um, around that text in there. So um, yeah, that's our pull quotes. I'll go to view, fit spreading window. Um, and then I'll press the W key to go into a grid and guide mode in there. I think the next thing we need to do then really is uh, let's have a look at the drop cap character in here that we need to apply.